this quick. I have just had a uh, quite a significant birthday. Just turned 21. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> I just turned 30. Uh, two years ago, I'm uh, 30. To, I'm nearly 33. I'm dying, is what I'm saying. I'm gently dying every day, and uh, they can't tell me how long I've got. And uh, when you are hurtling towards the great nothingness, you start to prioritise. You know the bucket list and other Morgan Freeman films, and so <laughs> what I've started doing is I've started doing things I've never done before, and so last year, this is true, for the first time, I was introduced to online pornography uh, by my local member of parliament, and um, <laughs> there's some good stuff on there, but I don't know if I'm the target market, because my friend who did introduce me, the next day he said, what did you think? What turned you on the most? And I went, what turned me on the most? He goes, yeah, what turned you on the most? And I said, out of everything. What turned me on the, on the most was on the home page, all the categories were alphabetized. <laughs> How did they know the horny lady with control issues was coming? Thank you. <laughs> Consider it. The, um, the button that bothers me the most, or that I'm most curious about, is the threesome button, because I don't understand it. I mean, I understand it. I know that goes there. Sometimes, by Guinness World Record attempt, only it gets in, but I know that things go in. But I, I don't understand it personally, the mentality, because I'm too selfish, because I've never got halfway through a sex and just thought, oh, bored of all these orgasms. Tag me in, Cheryl. Get in there, mate. Yes, I know. The problem might be that I'm trying to have a threesome with a woman called Cheryl. <laughs> Come on, Cheryl! Hang on, I haven't brushed me teeth! It's alright, I'm sucking on a menthol. Come on! <laughs> everyone, knows what the, everyone knows what the French term for threesome is on the count of three. One, two, three. Bon oh, no, no. It's a great word because everyone really gives it the French. Everyone really, everyone gives it a lot of menage à toi. It's one of those phrases where you think, Maybe I can speak French. <laughs> in Australia, we French up words that aren't French at all. Like, we have a department store called Target. We call it Target. <laughs> we have a car hire company called Budget. We call it Bouget. <laughs> and I heard this since... I only moved here a month ago, but I've heard this since... Someone called Primark. Plimaché. It's spreading. It's exciting. Plimaché. Menage à toi. It's sad, though, because I looked up the phrase menage à toi, and it sounds really sexy. Menage à toi. Do you know what it translates to? Household of three. <laughs> Sounds like a bad German sitcom. House of what will they get up to next on the crazy household of three? <laughs> will they pay the bills on time? <laughs> will they contact the landlord during business hours? <laughs> will they fill out the council survey correctly? Household of three. It's <laughs> the sexiest asthma. Uh, you have been wonderful. I've been Felicity Ward. Maybe I'll see you in Edinburgh. Bye.